Hello Mangos, welcome to our beautiful San Francisco night today. It is super foggy and so I cannot really see the whole bridge on the background but I hope you enjoy the view and today we are going to do a total body pilates workout to strengthen our whole body to tone up and to feel good so if you're ready just roll your mat let's do this together All right, now let's start with some warm up. So I wanted to allow yourself to come to sit along the mat. Open your legs a bit apart. Pull the belly button in, lengthen the spine, and relax your shoulders. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And feel free to cross your legs if you feel good and comfortable with that. So hands on your knees, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply and start to rotate your head around your neck you know halfway and exhale halfway and then reverse couple more times lengthen the spine you can close your eyes to kind of have a sense of balance and come back and slowly bring your head back to the center open your eyes rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse now bring your hands behind your head, open your elbows and then round your spine and open and round and a couple more times with your own breath. And slowly open your arms to the side and start to rotate a tiny circle with your whole arm. Couple more times and then reverse. Now, rotate your palms facing up and down for a couple more times here. Relax your shoulders and gently engage your abs to support your lower back. Beautiful. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hands down. Rotate the wrist and then reverse. And allow yourself to come to own four position to start. So, I wanted to inhale and tuck your feet. Lift your knees off the mat and bring your knees down. We're gonna try to do 10 times here with your own breath. So lift and down. Inhale up, exhale down. Do it slowly with your own speed. And three, two, and last one is slowly bring your knees down to the mat. Lengthen your leg. And then put your forearms down, engage your abs, lift your leg up and bring your leg down 10 times each side. Keep breathing, lengthen the neck and look down. And last one. And switch to the opposite side. Extend the ankle. And last one, and slowly bring your knee back. Lengthen your leg again. Now I want you to allow yourself to engage your abs and now slowly tuck the feet, lift your hips as high as you can. Start to walk your feet. Try to put your whole foot down to the mat. But if you cannot do that, it's totally fine. Listen to your body. And when you're ready, slowly bend your knees and come back to own four position. Alright, now I wanted to allow yourself to inhale and lengthen one leg again. This time lift your leg up just above the hip, flex the ankle. And now inhale slowly, open your leg to the side and come back to the center. You can make it more challenging by bringing your opposite arm to the side and come back. Tuck your foot for more support with the balance. Couple more times. And make sure your shoulders on top of the wrist. So keep breathing. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your knee down to the mat. We're gonna go to the opposite side. Inhale, lift, open, come back. Or make it more challenging by lift your opposite arm to the side at the same time. Really stabilize your torso. 
Only your arm and your leg are moving. And four, three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your knee down to the mat. Put your forearms down, engage your abs, tuck your feet, lift your knees up, and then bring it down. I'm gonna try to do 10 times with your own breath. So inhale, lift, exhale down. Nine, keep breathing, eight. Keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Three, two, and last one, and slowly bring your knees down, lengthen your arms, and come back to umpa position again. Take a deep inhalation, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. For the next movement, I want you to lie all the way down on your belly. So, bring your hands next to your chest, open your legs to width apart, close your elbows towards the back. Now, I want you to inhale and lift your whole hip bones and torso off the mat and bring it down slowly. 10 times with your own breath. So, let's do this together. Make sure you use the breath to control the movement and your hip bones up and off the mat. So that's how you can keep your back in neutral position and have more support. Awesome. Do it slowly with your own pace, pace and squeeze your body muscles. You can put your whole forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. So listen to your body. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your torso down. Interlace your finger backward, lengthen your arms, inhale, lift, and use your hands to pull your torso up and down. Just tiny move, but you feel it on your back and on your arms and your abs. So keep breathing, lengthen the neck and keep looking down to the mat. Squeeze your booty. Amazing. Couple more times with your own breath. And last one, lift and down and slowly bring your hands down. Now hands over your head, extend the ankle, slide back slightly, so make sure that the shoulder is far away from your ear. Inhale and lift your whole legs up, exhale bring them down. 10 times with your own breath. Squeeze your body, pull the belly button in, bring it down slowly. Squeeze your inner thighs at the same time. Good. You can rest your head down if it's easier for the lower back. So listen to your lower back. Awesome. And three, two, and last one. All right, now bring your head down, gently shake your hips. For the next movement, I want you to inhale and lift both arms and legs up at the same time and bring them down. Now we're swimming, so 10. Good, keep breathing. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hands down, gently shake your hips, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath, and exhale deeply. All right, and when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to bring your hands behind your back again. Interlace your fingers. Now I wanted to pull the belly button in, and inhale, lift your whole torso off the mat. Engage your abs. Don't have to go so far, even just tiny movement also count so listen to your body inhale pull the belly button in and then lift your legs up and bring your legs down so in this movement it's really really important to engage your abs pull the belly button towards the back so that way it has more support with the lower back keep breathing inhale and exhale a couple more times with your own breath extend the ankles squeeze your booty you can lower your torso if it's easier for the lower back. 
to listen to your body. And three, two, and last one. And I slowly bring your hands over your head again. And this time, I want you to allow yourself to lift your whole legs up, arms up, start to make a little pose like we swimming. Your whole torso stabilized, pull the belly button all the way in. And a couple more times, lengthen your arm, lengthen your legs, keep breathing. Use your whole arms to bring it up and down. Lengthen the neck, stabilize the hips. And three, two, and one. Slowly bring your hands back to your chest to come back to try pose. Gently shake your hips. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. That's awesome. Now I'm going to allow yourself to come to on four position again. Tuck the feet, lift your knees off the mat, and then lengthen one leg. Come back to the other side and back to the center. Again, four arms down if it's easier for the wrist. So listen to your body, do the modification that you think is best for your whole body, your own body. Keep breathing. Awesome. To the other side, stabilize the hips. Again, only your legs are moving. One at a time. Use the breath to control the movement. And five. Four. Three. Good. And two. And last one. To the opposite side and slowly bring your knees down. Gently shake your hips again. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right. And I'm going to come to full plank. So shoulders on top of the wrist. Inhale and slowly bring your feet toward the center. And open to the side. And walk back to the center. And open to the side. I'm going to try to do it a couple more times with your own breath. Slowly lengthen the neck, look down to the mat. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bend your knees down, kind of try pause again. I'm going to take a deep inhalation and one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Awesome. When you're ready, hands neck to your knees, lengthen your arms and come to sit on the heels. Pull the belly button all the way in, close your eyes for a second. And exhale deeply. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Good. Allow yourself to sit along the mat. So, bend your knees and lengthen the spine. Hands behind your hips. Close your elbows, pull the belly button all the way in. Inhale and lift your hips up. Now keep your feet to the center and feel free to put your forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. Otherwise, just keep it behind. Now lengthen one leg, come back to the other side and back to the center. We're gonna try to do it a couple more times with your own breath. You can bend your elbows down when you lengthen your leg if it feel more challenging with your arms at the same time but again listen to your wrist only do it when you feel comfortable with the wrist look to the front chin to chest couple more times each side that's beautiful good to the other side come back and three two and last one, to the opposite side and slowly bring your hips down to the mat. Lengthen your spine, gently shake your hips, take a deep inhalation. Exhale deeply. <sighs> Alright, now for the next movement, I'm going to bring your hands behind your hips. Close your elbows again, lengthen your legs, extend the ankle. Now put your whole forearms down to the mat. So you can move your elbows a little bit further. And that way your elbows over your shoulders. Pull the belly button in. 
try to bring your chest up, engage your abs, lift one leg up and start to make a tiny circle with your leg. So extend the ankle, pointing your toes further away and really engage your abs, change your chest. Couple more times here. And all the movements start from your hips, reverse. Make sure you stabilize your hips here, so engage your abs as much as possible. And slowly bring your leg down. You're gonna go to the opposite side. You can bend your opposite knee if it's easier for the stabilization of your hips. So listen to your body again. Reverse. Good. And slowly bring your leg down to the mat. And now from here, I want you to close your elbows, pull the belly button in, lift both legs up at the same time. So inhale, slowly bring one leg up and down to the other side. Engage your abs as much as possible. Good. Keep breathing. Feel free to bend your knees at 90 degrees if it's easier for the lower back. Now listen to your body. Awesome. Couple more times. Inhale and exhale. You can exhale every time you switch your leg. Great. And slowly bring your leg down to the mat. Gently shake your hips. Take a deep inhalation again. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right. Allow yourself to open your legs a bit apart. Flex the ankle. And now lengthen and sit tall with your back. Pull the belly button in, arms to the front, shoulders relaxed. And then slowly lean all the way as far as you feel good with the lower back. So pull the belly button in, go a little bit further. You can put your legs are shaking here just to hold your body in this position. Extend the ankle and flex. Extend and flex. Really engage your abs. Pull the belly button in, feel such a great feeling. Awesome. And last one. And then slowly bend your knees. Lengthen and sit tall again. Now I'm going to allow yourself to inhale. Slowly lean backward. Round your spine. And lengthen. Sit up. And exhale. Round. And lengthen. And round. And a couple more times. You get your own breath. That's amazing. Round, lengthen, and again, and up, and three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hands down, hug your knees to your chest, take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Good. Now I'm going to allow yourself to lean on one side to do psychic series so hands support your head the other hand in front of your chest and then lengthen I mean bend both knees keep your knees and your hips at 90 degrees inhale and open your leg lengthen come back and close 10 times with your own breath press your lower leg down pull the belly button all the way in Squeeze your inner thighs. Six. And five. Four belly button in. Three. And two more times with your own breath. And last one. Open. Lengthen. Exhale. Come back and down. Good. Now the next movement, open your leg as wide as you can. Lengthen your leg all the way up and slowly bring your leg down to the front. Come back and lift 10 times with your own breath. Nine. Good. Eight. Stabilize the hips. Your bottom leg press down to the mat. And four, three, and two more times with your own breath. 
and last one and slowly bend your knee back to the center another another movement lengthen your bottom leg extend the ankle lift your bottom leg up and bring it down 10 times squeeze your inner thighs three two and last one all right lengthen both legs rest your head down on your arm extend the ankle lift both legs off the mat and bring one leg to the front one leg to the back switch and last one and slowly bring your legs back to the center all right the last movement for the psychic series today i wanted to inhale bend your bottom knee again lengthen your top leg just above the hips now i wanted to inhale and slowly bend your elbows bring your knee bend your knee and bring your knee towards the chest and then lengthen all the way lift it up and down and 10 times with your own breath try to bring as high as you can Squeeze your inner thighs too. And last one. And slowly bend your knees down. Gently shake your hips. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, we're gonna go to the opposite side. Bend both knees to 90 degrees. Good. And now this time, lift it up, lengthen, bend and close 10 times with your own breath. And two. And last one. Good, and slowly lift it all the way up, lengthen your leg, bring your leg down to the front, come back and lift. Do it slowly with control. And four. Three, that's amazing. Two, and last one. And slowly bring your leg down, knee bend. Take a deep inhalation and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and now I wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your bottom leg, extend the ankle, lift your bottom leg up and down 10 times. Keep breathing. And five, four, three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your leg down, lengthen both legs, rest your head down on your arm. Now lift your legs just about the mat and start to bring one leg to the front, one leg backward. Stabilize your torso, only your legs are moving. Do it slowly. And four, three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your legs back to the center. Bottom leg bend, lengthen your top leg. And now lengthen your top leg just above the hips. 
Inhale, bend your knee, try to bring your knee all the way forward and then lengthen, lift it as high as you can. Come back 10 times with your own breath. Keep breathing. And five. Bring your leg down slowly and two more times. And last one. That's amazing. And slowly bring your leg down to the mat, knee bend. Gently shake your hips. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath and exhale deeply. Awesome. And now I'm going to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. So arms along your body, lift your legs up at 90 degrees, extend the ankle. Now inhale and slowly bring both legs further away. Extend, engage your abs, keep your knees at 90 degrees, open your legs to be the part. If you're a beginner, put your whole feet down to the mat and now slowly draw your hips up and down each vertebra at a time. Now lift your heels up, squeeze your booty and slowly bring it back. So I'm going to try to do a couple more times with your own breath. Pull the belly button all the way in. Good. Eight. Keep breathing. Seven. Try to reach as high as you can. Squeeze your booty. Reach your hands towards the heels. And three. Two. And last one. And slowly bring your hips down, gently shake your hips. Now put your whole feet down, draw your hips all the way up. Now I want to allow yourself to inhale, lift one heel up and to the opposite side of both legs at a time if you want more challenge. Squeeze your booty, really engage your abs here. Keep breathing. You can open your legs wider if you want to feel more on your booty. Awesome. And three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hips all the way down. Lift one leg up. Keep your feet toward the central. Hips up. Now I'm going to allow yourself to inhale, flex the ankle. Bring your leg down. Make a little pose here. Stabilize the hips. Lift your leg up again, extend the ankle, knee bend and switch to the opposite side. Bring it down, make a little pulse, engage your abs. And three, two, one, and lift it up, extend, knee bend. Open your legs all the way, try to lift your hips as high as you can. Squeeze your booty, squeeze your inner thighs, bring your knees towards the center and release. So 10 times with your own breath. You can bring your hands over your head to slower the pace. Squeeze your body. Good. Two. And last one. And slowly bring your arms down, draw your hips all the way down, gently shake your hips. Now this time, keep your feet toward the center, lift your legs up again, extend the ankle, hands support your thighs, chin the chest and lift your torso off the mat. Inhale, open your knees wider, extend the ankle, pull the belly button all the way in, lengthen your legs and bend. You can use your hand to support your head if it's easier for the neck, so listen to your body. Do it slowly, engage your abs. <sighs> Try to reach your chest higher. And four, three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your head down. Gently shake your hips, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply through your mouth. 
All right, and when you're ready, I wanted to lift your legs up to 90 degrees, flex the ankle, arms along your body again, lengthen both legs to the diagonal, and start to make a little pulse here. Extend the ankle, make a little pulse again, and flex. Open your legs to the side and come back. Seven, six, keep breathing your shoulder blades down to the mat. And three, two, and last one. And slowly extend the ankle, knees bend. Now lift your head off the mat, arms along your body and start to make a little pump with your whole arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale. And exhale. And a couple more times here. Feel the blood go circulate all around your body. And feel free to use your hand to support the head anytime if you need to. And three. Two and last one. And slowly bring your head down, hug your knees to your chest, and bring your legs from left to right. Take a deep inhalation and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, gently shake your hips, take a deep breath again, and exhale deeply. Bring your head from left to right to lift to give a quick stretch with the neck. You can close your eyes. One more time. And to the other side. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Take a deep inhalation, gently shake your hips. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Awesome. And when you're ready, I wanted to go for one more challenge before we complete the workout today. So, I wanted to allow yourself to inhale, lean on one side, and come to on four position. Now this time, shoulders far away from your ears, tuck the feet, and allow yourself to come to full plank. So inhale, slowly. If you're a beginner, put your forearms down to the mat and just hold it here for 10 counts. If you want to make it more challenging, Try to lengthen one arm to the front, come back to the other side and back to the center. I'm going to try to do 10 times each side, so let's do this together. Stabilize your torso. Seven. Keep breathing. Almost done, guys. So proud of you for go all the way through here with me. And five, four, three, two, and last one. And slowly bend your knees down. Come to try pause, gently shake your hips, take a deep inhalation, and exhale deeply. And one more deep breath, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Awesome, come to unfold position. Good. And now open your legs a bit apart. Dip your shoulders down between your arms and lift it up. So when we do this, make sure that your arms are always lengthening. Only your shoulders moving up and down. That way you feel your shoulder stretching and open. Your chest is opening. And last one. Now articulate your spine, cat and cow in sitting position and then round your spine, each vertebra at a time. Articulate and round your spine. And a couple more times with your own breath. And last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Gently shake your hips, take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Awesome. Now I'm going to bend one knee to the front to do some stretch with the hips. So 
enjoy here for a couple seconds if you feel like it's to make it easier for the hips you can bend your back knee to make what so engage your abs take a deep inhalation and exhale deeply and a couple more times and exhale I'm gonna go to the opposite side gently shake your hips and when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to come back to sitting along the mat. So, knees bend, open your legs to be the part. Open your chest, relax your shoulders. Inhale and walk your hands towards the hips. Pull the belly button in, lift your arms up. And slowly open one arm to the side, come back to the opposite side, back to the center. Five more times each side. Four. Keep breathing, three, and two, and last one. And slowly bring your hands back to the center, round your spine, and articulate your spine, sitting. Cat and cow in sitting position. Now shoulders far away from your ears. I'm gonna try to do it two more times with your own breath. And last one and slowly bring your torso back to the center gently shake your hips take a deep inhalation and exhale deeply through your mouth and one more deep breath and exhale deeply lengthen your legs flex the ankle open your legs hip with the pat arms to the front now round your spine flex forward come back and lengthen and round flex forward and bring it back and Three more times with your own breath. Two. And last one. And slowly bring your hands down to the mat. Take a deep inhalation. And exhale deeply. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Alright. Now I'm going to allow yourself to cross your legs. Or just keep bending your knees if it's more comfortable for you. Open your arms to the side. Lean on one side to do side bending. Come back to the other side and back to the center. A couple more times with your own breath. Two. And last one. And slowly bring your hands down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. Close your eyes. Reverse. Bring your head to one side. Relax your shoulders. And to the opposite side. Feel the side of your neck is stretching. And back to the center. One more time. To the opposite side. And slowly bring it back to the center. Sit tall, lengthen the spine. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath. And exhale deeply. Now I want to rotate the wrist. Reverse. Interlace your fingers. Rotate. And reverse. Now inhale, reach your hands all the way up. And down. And couple more times. And slowly bring your hands down, rotate the wrists again, and then reverse. Inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath, and exhale deeply. And now gently shake your hips, one more deep breath again, and exhale deeply. Good. And now I want to interlace your finger, push your hands to one side all the way, and to the opposite side back to the center one more time to the other side and back to the center and now you can always interlace your fingers and lift your arms up and down and up and down a couple more times and slowly bring your hands down shake your hands take a deep inhalation again and exhale deeply and one more deep breath and exhale deeply now you can close your eyes and stay here for as long as you need to. Just taking deep breath. 
and couple more times and just stay here as long as you need to and whenever you're ready slowly open your eyes and that's the work today thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed it and i'm gonna see you in the next video so make sure that you subscribe the channel and share this video to someone that you think it might be helpful for them i'm gonna see you in the next video so much luck to you bye bye